Welcome to attempt number three! Yay! Damn it! <laughs> There's always something happening during my videos and I have to restart. I'm so mad. I've tried this three other times or like two other times and like the interruptions were just non-stop. So I was like, okay, I'm trying this one more time and if this doesn't work out, then I'm doing it on Saturday because it's Wednesday today. Yay Wednesday and um, happy professional administrative day to all of you professional administrators. Yay. Um, sorry for being goofy. I'm like super happy today. Okay, so let us try to do this again. <sighs> it's exhausting, really. It really is. All right, so water. I have talked myself hoarse already, basically. All right, so news. Arm injury, shoulder injury, whatever. I had rotator cuff, couldn't stitch for a couple weeks, not a lot got done. I'm better now. I had a four inch needle shoved into my shoulder with some steroids. So now life is good and I feel better. <laughs> I would go into further detail about it, but I have just had, uh, I've explained this to myself and to you guys, attempting to explain it to you guys like three times already and I just, I can't. I had a shoulder injury and I feel better. It's all that matters. Not a lot of stitching, but I have lots to show you guys, so that's fine. <sighs> um, a little bit of haul. I'm going to start with that. And then I'm going to go into showing you my new rotation and all 20 of my whips. Yes, I said 20. That was not an exaggeration. I told you guys in my last video when I did the for real so tag that I had a lot of whips. I wasn't that far off of the number I gave you guys. Um, it was yeah, yeah, 20. I said about 25 or 30 and I wasn't that far off the margin. So yeah. Anyway, starting with the haul. Um, Lord help us. <laughs> I'm so tired of doing this. Um, Ziploc bags and, and flashcard things. We all know what this is for, don't we? I just bent one. Awesome. I'm doing the uh, Ziploc bag storage system for my uh, skeins of DMC. These are upside down. It's going to be one of those ah, days. Um, so I've started doing some of that with some of my DMC already, which I will show you. If I can undig all my whips. Let me just attempt to do that right now. La, 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 la. Today is going to be one of those days. At the end of the day, I'm just going to crawl into bed and say screw it to everything. Da, 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 da. You guys, I, I, I got to show you guys my other Stitchy Pal. In my last video, or the last attempt of this video. I'm going to do it again. She's sleeping, but I'm going to wake her up because I'm mean mama. Oh, okay. That's part of haul. Alright, um, I'm sorry, it's on the floor. Um, so I got this box to store those baggies into. And I got this from Michael's for like $2. So I'll be able to put the numbers on here when this is full. And... That wasn't very professional of me, I'm sorry. I have three baggies in here with some DMC. I've labeled at the top, the skeins, the floss bobbins. The bobbins still have to go back into my DMC boxes. I've just been too lazy to do that. Can we tell why? Um, so I got that stuff and I also bought some new highlighters for when I do my hades. Because I was running out of highlighters. Because I use a lot of highlighters. Well, not just for my hates, but for my, um, you know, my, um, 
See what I mean? Now I'm all jumbled up because I did this too many times. Just my working copies of my patterns, um, basically. And then I bought some of these project baggies that you guys seem to love so much that you all just get from your dollar stores, right? With the zippy plastic. They're actually awesome. I've been using one for a long time for Electra, and it really, I really like them. So I bought some of those as well. And I also bought a magazine. It's the World of Cross Stitching issue 240. It's a cute little hedgehog and a fox. I think that's what those are. Anyways. And I bought the uh, magazine for this peacock down here. Which I'm going to stitch for my girlfriend at some point. Maybe for Christmas. Who knows? I have too much crap to do already. But that is it. And with that magazine came... Um, this kit for these little Kokeshi dolls to make cards with. And for any of you that already know me, you know that I love anything Japanese and Oriental, so these are perfect. I absolutely love them. Alright, so that was my haul. Not very much, but like I said, it's haul, so. I'm on a stash restraint right now to save up for the convention that I'm going to in October. So aside from buying magazines, storage stuff, and replacements for anything that I already have going, then I'm not buying anything. Which is going to be hard, but hey, my wallet will thank me later. Okay. So, um, before I get started, I want to show you guys my other stitching buddy. Who is now awake because my mom's in the house. Come here, you. This is the big... Oh my gosh, she's the... <sighs> Guys, you have no idea how big she is. She's a heavy girl. This is Faith. She's the newest addition to our household. And she's... Hmm, I think she's going to be two this, this summer. But she doesn't very much like being held, if you can't tell. Um, I would do the whole holding her up and showing you how big she is thing, but that's not going to work with her. She really just doesn't... Um, enjoy being held. She's very, very upset. Aren't you? You just, mom, let me go. Let me go. Say hi to Flosstube first. Hi Flosstube. I'm Faith and I'm out of here. Anyway, it's Faith whose pants, or whose foot was stuck in my pants. Okay, so that was my other stitching buddy that you guys haven't seen yet. You've seen Emma and Angel, but that was Faith. And that's all my fur babies. I don't have any more. Just the two cats and my dog. Who is, um, finally got that haircut that I said she needed to get. Didn't you, baby? You got your haircut, didn't you? No bad hairdos. No bad hairdos. Okay. All right. Enough fur babies. Let's talk about what you're here to see. Um, all right. Let's get this over with because my phone is just going to go away. Um, I asked, I think I asked, I don't even remember anymore. I've done this so many times. I can't remember what I already asked in this video versus what I asked in the other two videos. Anyway, I want your guys' opinion after you've seen this portion of my video. Could you please let me know if you would like to see videos from me once a month, once every two weeks, or once a week? I will do either depending on what you guys feel like you'd like to see. Um, but Again, like I said, don't make up that decision until after you've seen the whole video because there's a lot coming. So, new rotation is going to start um, April 1st. This is April. Oh my god, May 1st. Holy cow. I'm not together, obviously. Um, so, I'm going to start doing one whip every day in alphabetical order. And um, it'll work through my 20 whips that I have. Soon to be 21 because there's a style starting May 1st in the Cross Stitches Fun Facebook group. <sighs> See, I have a list. That's a lot of whips, right? Anyway, so first off, we have Asian Orchids, which is a kit that was um, by Creative Accents or Dimensions. That's what it looks like. And I've worked on some of this since I put it away years ago. I'll tell you what I have started versus what was new. So this is how far I've gotten. And 
these beige stitches and these dark colored stitches are my new additions to the project since like a couple years ago. So not much, but hey, it's something. And I have, I'm pretty sure I have that upside down. I don't even know. Yeah, I did have that upside down. <laughs> it goes this way. There we go. So that's book number one. I'm just going to go back in the tub. Whip number two, Bambi's first year, which was the sell for this month on the Facebook group to cross the chits fun, which I really didn't do a whole lot on because of my injury, but it is what it is. Bambi's first year. I know there's somebody else stitching this in the Facebook, it's a uh, Facebook group, but I can't remember who it is. And I wouldn't know if they want their name on YouTube or not. So anyway, I know I'm not the only one stitching it now, which makes me feel better. And my progress on here is not much, but I am in agreement with those of you who say MCG textiles fabric is horrific. This is not good. Here's my progress. So I, sorry baby, I got this little bit of orange and pink done and this, this white. And I managed all that before my, um shoulder injury so hasn't been worked on since I hurt my shoulder which is kind of sad but hopefully if I can get the finish that I want done before the end of the month I can put some more work into this and then focus on other things and then this can just be it's you know the whip that it, it would be for the day that it comes out in my rotation Next up is Beauty of the Orient, which comes out of Cross Stitch Gold um, April 2010 issue, which is uh, issue 17, and that is the, I think I just said Beauty of the Orient, but if I didn't, that's what it's called. And this is by Leslie Tear, who I love, actually. She does a lot of Oriental stuff. And my progress on that so far is this you guys have seen her already but I'll show her again I'm glad I'll be able to get her done now that I have some crane ache and stuff but yeah and she is um, for a sell also in the um, cross stitches fun Facebook group for around the world she'll be going in that cell my next whip is a electronic whip that I can't really show you guys and but I'll link you to the website where I got it How's that? Um, and it's a Pokemon pattern. It's Charmander, which I'm doing on, um, I think this is 14 count uh, perforated plastic. So, I love him. There's his little arm and part of his mouth, his nostril and his eye. And he's just in some rocks and stuff, so that's fun. I'm making this as a gift for a, tr a Twitch streamer that I watch every day, who should be streaming about this point, but I'll watch him later. And the next one I have is my Christmas door, which is from the cross, the world of cross stitching issue 236, which you guys have seen before. And I was doing one of the Christmas doors, which is this one here. And by Amanda Gregory is a designer. And this is my little bit of progress. This is just being stitched on a scrap piece of 14 count white Ada, which I'm slowly learning is horrible for fractional stitches. All hail the uh, uh, linens and even weaves that I might soon get myself into. Um, next, I'm just making sure I'm not getting cut off here. The next one that I have actually is Electra and you guys have all seen her before. She's my lovely Nora Corbett. And let me tell you that all of the stitching is done. Every single last cross stitch is in here. And she's done. I'll show you proof. There's the end of her dress there behind the Q-snap. She's all done with the stitching. And I just recently started adding bling. So there's these beads here, which I added on with um, full cross stitch instead of half cross stitch because I found that they um, actually are laying better 
that way and I like it better so that's my Electra who I'm hoping to have finished by April or at the end of April just a minute the doorbell went off like I said before interruptions oh. I'm gonna cry guys my god why can't I ever just get this done <sighs> okay where was I Electra beads you guys saw it so super happy with the bling and I hope to get her finished by May 1st <sighs> I'm gonna have a heart attack guys this is just crazy okay and the next one is my elegant geisha which is uh, gold collections petites which I started last year and never finished she's really not that big I should be able to finish her s sooner rather than later so there is her, and this is my progress so far. I actually, get this, here comes the nerdy side of me, okay? Um, I told you guys that I love all things oriental, so there's that part, but um, I actually would stitch on her while watching Merlin, the, the BBC show Merlin. I don't know if any of you have ever seen it, but it's a really good show. I suggest you watch it. Um, it got canceled or something, so I'm really sad about that, but uh, it was a really good show, so... For any of you out there that love your fantasy or and in, are in, in, in like Merlin and you know um, Genevieve and and, and oh, I can't remember their names now. Whatever. Anyway, my brain just is never in my actually in my head. It's like on vacation. I think <laughs> my brain is on vacation. It's just, yeah. All right, so the next one is Epic Pokemon, which um, I know some of you in the Facebook group Cross Stitches Fun have been doing and have been showing off. So I'll show you mine, which isn't really mine. Um, it came from a friend. She mailed it to me because she didn't have time for it anymore. And I was kind of sad by that because I'm like, oh my gosh, it's Pokemon. You don't have time for Pokemon? That's so dis that's disappointing. Anyway, so I, um, I rehomed it for her. But I don't like stitching on it, and I'll tell you why. I don't like stitching on it because of the fact that it's 3 over 1 on 18 count. 3 over 1 on 18 count A is really thick, and just, like, I, I understand she was doing it for coverage's sake, but on 18 count, I don't think 3 strands is necessary. Like, 2 strands is plenty. Um, so A, it was, like, to me, a really big waste of floss. Um... And there would be more floss going into it than I was willing to actually, like, purchase and stuff. And, um, and secondly, um, her cross is cross the opposite way that I am used to. So, I'm not really interested in it anymore. So, let me just say to you guys right now, if there's anybody out there that is interested in doing the Epic Pokemon, but doesn't, like, have the right fabric, all that kind of stuff, I will gladly give you mine. Um, I will rehome it again because there's no way I'm going to work on it. And I'll include the pattern and everything. Um, even the pages that I've already finished. I'll just mail it all and, and somebody else can have it. But this is where I'm at so far. So I'm pretty sure I finished the corner where Mew is and Articuno here and Jolteon and, and Vaporeon there. And I started working down in where Goldeen and Sea King are. So... Anyways, it's it's cute, and I love Pokemon, and I would love to do this. I just can't. I just can't. So, look, guys. It's a huge piece of fabric. So, if you want it, let me know. You can have it. I will gladly mail it to you because it's not worth the headache, in my opinion. I'll just find the pattern um, from someone else and do it over again. Because that, in in my opinion, I just I just can't. Um, so, free to a good home, stitchers. Next one I have is my Fall Fairy, which you have all seen before. She's a gold collections from Dimensions. No progress on her, but I'll show her anyway. So there's my progress. Not a lot, but, you know, it's whatever. I really hope this rotation helps. It was helping before, so I'm confident that um, it will really 
really help me motivate myself and, and get stitching on stuff that otherwise wouldn't be stitched on. Next one is a Final Fantasy project that I designed myself off of a sprite from a video game. I don't remember what the name of it is, and I can't tell you what program I used to make the pattern, but this is the, the thing. If any of you know what this is, just let me know. But um, it's a Final Fantasy summon or something like that. And I like it because it's like a lot of blue, but... Um, I really just don't know what it is. And it was really supposed to be a commission for a friend, and that just never happened. So, that was a fail on my part. Game of Thrones is the next one, which you guys have all seen before. It's an electronic pattern from Clouds Factory, and this is where I'm at. I just have a couple of the kids done. These are the Stark children with their dire wolves here. And I still have the other three on the bottom to do, and then the Stark name at the top. This is supposed to be done for a friend who's in Cuba right now. The lucky... Yeah. Anyway, that lucky guy is in Cuba right now. So, and I won't even have that done by the time he gets back, so it's whatever. So my Game of Thrones is the next one. And then after that comes Garden Gate by Dimensions, which you guys have seen before. Which was supposed to be a um, Mother's Day gift for my mom, but it's not getting done by Mother's Day. Maybe Christmas, who knows, but not Mother's Day. And my progress so far on that is this. So more than I, well, now that I look at it, it's like I'm falling in love with it all over again. It's gorgeous, I love it actually kind of can't wait to get back to it really but that's where I'm at so a lot of half stitch this is three quarters half stitch I would say so it's really an easy and quick piece to do um next is L now you're hearing this right it's L like the letter L um I was am more or less was a real um I was really into anime and I used to watch this anime called Death Note is where Elle comes from and he looks really funny right now so I apologize but this is what he looks like for any of you that are familiar with Death Note know what he looks like so but there's still a lot of crazy messy hair going on up here that has to be finished and this was um uh, little 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 mojo I don't know if anybody's familiar with that name but I'm pretty sure she's the one that designed this little mojo and um she's like non-existent now I don't know where she went or what happened but uh yeah she's the one that created this pattern so I'll put my copyright out there or whatever just to let you guys know that that's where I got it um next is roses which is also I don't know I'm wrong not roses backtracking here that's next my next is my heaven and earth design maple kitsune you guys have seen before and I'm really sorry that I'm rushing but my phone's gonna cut me off again I just know it or I'll get interrupted oh, project bag <sighs> almost at a page finish really excited about that so there's just like two colors left that have to go in there yet but I was hoping to have this finished by the end of the month but that's not happening so and I had all these really long park threads funny story I had all these really long park threads here and then my cat literally chewed them off I didn't even have this laying down for like two seconds and she had chewed them all off she was fine, you know, because string is really bad for cats. So, and if you, just so you know, I'm just going to put this plug in here. Um, don't let your cats play with string or with floss or with ribbon because they don't digest and it can get stuck in their, in their intestines and stuff. And that's not good. So, um, anyway, that's my hate so far. Loving it. And now comes roses. So this is a dimensions kit. Started in the idea of making this for my great aunt. 
um, who is still alive, but uh, I just never finished it for whatever reason. I just started other things instead, I think. And this is where I got to on that. So some some of you might have already seen this before, like not in my videos, but like some other of you have s stitched it probably. But yeah, I just almost got half, like almost got done the first half of the page, like the first page done. So that is roses. Next is um, a pattern I can't even show you and I can't show on my YouTube channel because my girlfriend watches my YouTube channel. So, surprise! You'll see it when it's done though, I promise. Um, and then the next one is Dolphin's Domain, which is one I had actually put in like this huge bag. Because <laughs> um, I had nothing else to put it in and I wanted it to, it to lay flat and be clean. So, this is a surprise to me because I forgot how much I got done. Oh, not bad! Cool. All right. Neat. So this is Dolphin's Domain. The Dolphin's Domain. Which I love dolphins too. So that's perfect. And then this is how far I am on that. I got a dolphin finished. <laughs> yeah. And he was kind of cute. He was fun to stitch actually. I really enjoyed stitching that little guy. He was fun, but I don't, like I said, I don't know if many of you guys really understand, but the, this, this, that's three strands of blue there, and it's half stitch, and it's horrible. Oh, I don't have any use for that. Dimensions kits, I agree with the fact that they do what they do for their detail in that, but I just really, you guys need to figure out, you know, anyway. And then the next one is Tuxedo Mask, which is a Sailor Moon pattern that I created myself from a sprite from a video game. He's not quite finished yet. If, as you can tell, he's got a whole big blotches of white there. I just need to find a good enough color to slap in there and finish that up. So he might be finished the day his rotation comes out, but we'll see. We'll see. I love Sailor Moon too, if you guys didn't know that. Um, some of these are surprises to me because I've never really pulled them out. Um, since I started them, but my next whip is White Lightning. It's also a Dimensions Gold Collections um, kit. I love this one. I really just kind of want to get back into it. Had an idea to stitch that for my dad. How far am I on this? I don't even remember. My word. Okay. All right. Well, I can't tell you guys which way is up and which way is down, but. Um, <laughs> There's my progress, I guess. Um, I have a feeling this is the right way up, but I'm not sure. This has been folded for a really long time. So, yeah, that's the progress on that. It's a super cute picture. I really should get back into stitching that. Really. We'll see. We'll definitely see. Um, some of these things are so old and it's, have you ever, guys, ever found out that going back to whips from old times, you get to see what your stitching used to be like versus what it is like and, you know, you're afraid that the whole thing's going to look horrible when you start stitching, like, fresh stitches onto something that's been, like, in storage for, like, four years or, I'm just worried the finished project can turn out looking like crap, but it's whatever. And then my last whip well, no, not my last one. Well, my last whip is actually Who's Watching Whom, and that's also another Dimensions kit that my mom actually started and never finished. So that's where I like this one. It's so cute. And this, oops, there's lots of thread in here. This is where she got to. So she started the bottom half with the cat. And she was doing some cross-country cross business here with the black. So, I plan on hoping to finish that for her. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, these really old projects, it's it's funny looking at them now and then going back to them and then going, oh gosh, like the stitching is going to look so weird because you stitch different, you know, as you progress through time and things have been sitting. Anyway, and then my last um, whip that's going to get started, like I said, on May 1st is going to be 
Wise Owl by Dimensions. And this is for the Owl Sal and the Cross Stitch It's Fun Facebook group. And this is going to be stitched for my girlfriend. She picked it out. And yeah, so that's basically why, what my rotation is going to look like, guys. Um, so I'm really excited to start working on some older stuff. And I'm really starting to um, appreciate the fact that stitching is stitching. It doesn't matter what it looks like, how perfect your stitches are, or whatever. It's not... You're stitching because you love what you do, not to impress anybody, right? So if your stitching isn't like 100% perfect or it's, you know, you think it looks, or your stitches are horrible and uneven and whatever, it doesn't matter. You stitched it and you had fun stitching it and you like it, right? So that's all that matters. I'm learning that more and more as I stitch that, you know what, it doesn't matter what it looks like. At the end of the day, it's going to be up on a wall and from far away it's going to look beautiful to whoever looks at it. And it's whatever. It's whatever. It's cross-stitching and it's fun and that's what it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be stressful. So just remember that. Because um, I'm trying to remember that myself. Okay, so the little bit of supernatural um, stuff that I had to tell you guys today. Um, so... I'll start that and for any of you that aren't gonna stick around for that I'll see you guys in my next video and for those of you that are still here I am so excited guys every day that draws closer to October I'm like freaking out just a little bit more because I get to meet Jared Padalecki and that it I'm, I'm hearing more and more from people who have had experience with him and say that he is like so sweet and so gentle and understanding and he makes you feel loved and appreciated and I'm just really excited to meet him um even if it's only for like 30 seconds <sighs> I get to meet him twice in the same day so I I'm I'm gonna be I'll have more than 30 seconds but still um and I'm I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna vlog while I'm there I might but that's, I'm, I'm going to leave part of that up to um, my girlfriend because she's going to be around. I'm going to be with her the whole weekend. So, I mean, and I know she, I'm not sure she'll want to be on video or anything like that. So, I may or may not. We'll see. Um, but the new, uh, the new um, little bit of information I have for you guys is that last week sometime, I think it was last week, I bought a ticket to get a Misha photo op. So, um, I'll be meeting Castiel. <laughs> so I'm super excited to meet Misha too, because he's like the biggest friggin' dork ever. And he's... The stuff that comes out of that man's mouth, guys, like... He is just all sorts of weird. Him and Felicia Day, those, the two of them are like, wow, you guys really just say what comes to mind and don't give a shit. <laughs> and I love them for that, I really do. And I don't know if any of you guys out there have even heard that there is actual supernatural novels out there. Maybe you have. Don't know. But um, I just actually purchased the new one that just got released like last month. And that's Cold Fire. So I'm really excited to get into this beast. Haven't, uh, haven't read it yet because I'm still working on another one of the novels. But I'm really excited to get into this one. And... um. I might, I'm, I'm still not 100% sure what I want Jared to autograph yet. So if any of you have been to conventions before and have had Jared autograph something, can you kind of like give me some ideas to what might be a good idea? Because I'm still like not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy something at the convention and get him to sign it or if I'm going to bring something from home. I really don't know. Anyways, and I'm not getting him to sign a t-shirt or anything like that because that's just, that's pointless. Anywho, that is it for me. I am super, super happy and excited for this convention. And I'm also super happy for my stitching rotation. So thank you guys for sticking through this whole video, even though there was an interruption. And I will see you all again next time. Bye.